Yo, what's going on guys? Today, we're gonna be pushing Tall Bladder with one of the best decks of all time in Clash Royale. We have 2.6. I like to play 2.6 super aggressively in this meta. It can be kind of hard to break through in most matchups these days, but if you do get some early damage, you can defend pretty easily after and be in a pretty nice spot. I think this guy does have Giant Graveyard. I saw some people asking whether Cannoneer could be good or not in 2.6. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be. Especially in this type of matchup, if we had Cannoneer, would be completely dead. This might be a nice bit of damage. We'll see if he goes in for the little Prince ability. Oh, Musketeer's on tower too. <laughs> That's really good damage, wow. I'll go for the Musketeer, I'll let the little Prince and everything connect to our tower for a bit of damage. Oh, little Prince is in front, perfect. I don't think Bomber will activate our King Tower here, but we should still be in a fine spot, most likely. Oh, the ability, no. Okay, Bomber will activate our King Tower, but our Princess Tower <laughs> is kind of dead too, which is a bit of an issue. If we get into a one-to-one -one spot, it's not unbeatable, but it's not very good because Giant Graveyard pretty much thrives in that type of situation. We do have a chance to win, though. I think this will be a one-to-one -one situation. Pretty soon we're both going to take each other's tower. So this will be a two-tower match. No damage, unfortunately. Snowball counters the Hog Rider so well. If he goes in for the Giant, we do have our Evo Ice Spirit and Evo Skeleton, so I'm not too scared about that. The Evo Ice Spirit actually isn't too bad in this matchup for countering the Giant, mainly. Okay, Evo Skellies. He's gonna not have a spell for them for some time, so they should pretty much kill this. <laughs> oh, he missed! He missed! <laughs> Most accurate giant graveyard player with his spells. I'm gonna fireball. This may be tower down. Oh, beautiful fireball. Killing the Evo Bats right on the spot. I don't think we have any way to defend though. Even with our king tower, it's not quite enough to stop the graveyards. I'll try though. Wait, we can pull this back. And then graveyard should get zero damage. When you have your king tower up, graveyard gets zero damage. Unless something's tanking for your princess tower. Wait, hold up. We actually might be able to save our tower. He will probably try to go in for one more graveyard push, but we're not going to let him cross the bridge. <laughs> I think we got him, actually. Well, feels pretty good destroying a giant graveyard player, I must say. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, 30 HP. Good game. All right, guys. It's Tigger. Let me know who your guys' favorite character was from Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I think this guy is playing Golem. I remember back in the day he used to use that clone bug. There was this clone bug a while ago where if you cloned up a Golem or a Lava Hound, the Golemites would be full HP, even from the cloned one, and then the Lava Pups would also be full HP. And there's the large pebble, we just have to go aggressive here. We should be able to defend still if we play perfect. It is pretty tight though on defense after you go for an Ice Golem Hog Rider. We're down a lot of Elixir. Hog should take tower though. Oh no! Oh, he pushed the golem with the skeleton king so it wouldn't go for our cannon. Oh, I gotta give it to him. That's pretty well played. Really nice ice golem here, though. There's no way to defend our tower at this point. Just have to make sure we don't get three crowned or anything. I guess it's not the end of the world, but it's never good being in a one to one situation against golem. I do see we have our Evo Ice Spirit up next. Normally I don't talk about Evo Ice Spirit much, but when you're facing a beatdown deck, it is actually pretty useful. Gonna help out on defense quite a bit. Okay, we are down like 3 Elixir because the pump will give him a plus 1 trade. I don't like this spot too much. But at the same time, he probably has no big spell, so our Musketeers are gonna go to town. Oh, Hog Rider. It is gonna be double Elixir by the time his Golem gets farther up the map, so I think we should be able to hopefully get a nice defense off here. Nice hog damage. We do also have our Evo Skellies now, so I'm not too worried. I'm not sure why he's trying to go for our King Tower instead of our Princess Tower. I'm not sure if that's too smart by him. But I feel like we should be chilling. I don't really know what he can do here. Okay, that's an easy fireball. <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to do with this. 
Evo Ice Spirit will do pretty well here as well. And Evo Skelly should counter the Night Witch. Yeah, perfect. Easy defense. Wait, our Evo Skellies might chain a bit here onto his skeletons. This could be nice. Okay, forcing out the extra arrows. I'll take that. A pretty aggressive pebble. Musketeer is not dying. <laughs> this feels so easy. I don't know. It's never been this easy against Golem. Maybe it isn't really very bad to be in a one-to-one -one situation. Okay, those were pretty close to starting their chain. We're all good here. I'll just musketeer. We have to stack our musketeers. Don't want to be super aggressive to the point where we might have a bit of trouble defending. Evo Ice Spirit will clean up this golem pretty easily. But I feel like Evo Ice Spirit does still need another small buff, even after the one it already got. Honestly, maybe even a big buff. Unless they nerf the other Evos. Hog will get maybe one more hit. Perfect. And <laughs> we have three Musketeers. <laughs> it's so funny getting three Musketeers with 2.6 against a beatdown deck. Alright. I feel like we might have it. Not sure if this Hog will do too much. Okay, it might take Tower actually. Or we can Fireball if we need it. Alright, good game. Alright guys, it's time. It's Icy Hog time. Now that I see the Ice Golem and Hog Rider together, it kind of reminds me that Evo Hog Rider could be pretty broken once they release it. It depends what they do with it, but I feel like it could have something to where when it hits stuff with its hammer, it would have an effect kind of similar to the Ice Golem's Death Nova range, and then it would just knock stuff back. Then again, that might be a bit too similar to the Evo RG, so maybe instead of that, they could do something to where once the Evo Hog Rider gets scared, it could just randomly jump and then land on the tower. <laughs> kind of like when it jumps across the bridge, it would be just on the map somewhere, then it would get scared, a mini P.E.K.K.A. going after it or something, then it would jump to the tower. <laughs> or just do a random jump and escape everything, trying to attack it. <laughs> that would be so funny. Okay, maybe it didn't really need that log, but it's okay. Better to be safe against mini P.E.K.K.A.s. This guy definitely has Sparky. This matchup is fine as long as you play safe. It's kind of like Giant Graveyard though to where you can easily lose if anything goes wrong. Mainly the Evo Knight is a big issue once they get to it and go for a big push with it. We'll see if he stays in the same lane or decides to go on the left side. If they're smart, they usually try to go opposite lane, but, you know, Sparky players, <laughs> I guess, are not too smart, usually. Free Fireball for us. We do have our Evo Ice Spirit, so if we really need it, we could definitely shut this Sparky down pretty easily. Okay, I'll just Evo Skellies, actually. We'll see if he goes for anything. Okay, we can Evo Ice Spirit, and that Sparky is immobilized. <laughs> the Evo Ice Spirit just immobilizes the Sparky for like 10 seconds. Gonna pressure a bit here. It's fine to pressure after a nice defense. I'll fireball one Archer. I don't really care too much, honestly. I feel like we're chilling either way. Somehow the Archer is going to the right side. I never understood why Archers decided to start splitting weirdly. I don't know when that started happening, but a little while ago they started being a bit weird. I'm not sure if they were always like that. I don't think they always were. Okay, we just have to defend this one pusher then. We should be in the clear. The Evo Knight will make this a little bit tougher to defend, but I feel like we should be fine. We have so much elixir. doesn't really matter too much. Wait a minute. Evo Skillies. Oh, he missed. Let's go. All right. That should be game over. I'll see you guys in the next match. Okay, this is a great marsh. We love to go hiking here and see the nice nature. Guys, I just saw a comment a bit ago. It said, if you play my intro at two times speed, it sounds normal still. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section if that's true or not. It probably is because I speak so slow in my intro. I don't know why, but I just do somehow. <laughs> don't ask me. I don't know why a man is playing... Goblin Drill Bowler. Hopefully he only has Tornado and no building. 
If they have no building, the Ice Golem Hog combo is so good against Tornado decks. Might be some nice damage here. We'll see. Oh, he does have Inferno Tower. Better than seeing a Tesla or something, but still pretty bad. I don't know why people have decided to make these kinds of decks. It's beyond me. It's not too easy to counter Goblin Show with this deck. You pretty much always have to save your log. So you don't want to log cycle the towers too often. You can prediction cannon sometimes and catch it. Okay, I'm going to go for it here and pray that it works. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah, but if you get unlucky and they go for a drill on the side, it can be a bit bad sometimes. You can usually still defend, but you just have to spend a lot of elixir. I could have played the Musketeer or something, but yeah, you can see the log is fun to cycle if you have to. It's really all mind games when you're facing Goblin Drill. You can either defend perfectly or sometimes take 1000 damage just off of whether you predict the drill or don't. Go for the Ice Skull. The thing is, in this matchup, it's going to be pretty much impossible to break through, but at the same time, I feel like we're going to be able to defend pretty nicely. I'll split Evo's Skellies. We do have our login cycle this time. Oh, the Evo Bomber. Honestly, not that much damage for him, though, but still not great for us. It is kind of nice that he has the Princess Tower, so his interactions aren't quite as good against our Hog Riders. Nice Goblin Drill catch. Normally the Goblin gets pushed to the tower though when you play a cannon, so you pretty much always have to go for another one elixir card or something. Okay, I'll go in for a Hog Rider. There's no chance we're gonna 3 crown him or anything, honestly. Ooh, nice one Hog hit. He may drill now since we have no log in cycle, we'll have to see. He's gonna delivery on the Musketeer, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we just have to try to get rid of this Evo Knight. Oh, not the double bowler. <laughs> we do have our Evo Skellies. We have to try to go for them off to the side here and hope they chain. Okay, this is pretty nice. It's nice that he has no big spell. Oh no, wait, hold up, hold up. I knew he was going to do that. Like, half a second before he just played that Evo Bomber, I knew he would try to do that. We are winning though, guys. We are actually winning somehow. Musketeers are going to destroy the bowler. <laughs> the bowler just lived through three musketeers. Nice goblin drill catch. I feel like he should be going for his drills off to the side a lot more often than he is. Okay, we do have a chance here, unless an Evo Bomber goes too crazy, which could very well happen. Okay, negative one trade for him with the Inferno Tower. We have to try to cycle back to our Hog pretty quickly, though, because he may try to go in for quite a big push. Okay, we can pressure. Just make sure that he can't use the Tornado on offense. Oh, he does go for the NATO on offense. Just barely gets the Inferno Tower down. Oh, the Bowler! No, the Bowler! Okay, we need some Hog damage. Oh, no. Okay, we catch the Bomber... But it's not dead, though. Oh, that's on our tower. Double splash. No. Man, he's getting, like, no damage except... Oh, the Evo Bomber. But he missed the Inferno Tower. <laughs> I think that might be it. I'm not sure, though. One lucky Evo Bomber, and we might have lost. So, I don't know. Wait, Hog Rider got a lot of damage and I think we won he has no time there's no way <laughs> okay what a match what a roller coaster of events thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one bye